Today we'll be talking about supporting recovery through safe, sober, and peer-oriented housing. I'm a huge fan of uh, sober living. I've done it uh, personally. I'm still doing it as, as we speak. Um, I believe in it's safety in numbers. Um, there's a fellowship that, that's involved. Um, but at the same time, there's accountability. We have several different approaches for homelessness, which has uh, certainly escalated in the last several decades, as we know. And some of it is shelter-based, which is for emergency situations all the way to long-term recovery housing. And that's for people who are struggling to recover from mental illness or addiction issues or both and need longer-term supports in order to ultimately be self-sufficient. There's so much help that can be provided through organizations like the ones that are provided at this table. Community-based organizations that provide comprehensive wraparound services that are supportive and that are engaging people that are in the process themselves to help others and it's just a really beautiful thing.